Guys, there's a lot of bad dating advice in the world, but I think I've found one that takes the cake based on the one TikTok I've seen so far, and then we're gonna see a lot more. Now I, clearly the arbiter of good men's dating advice, I've been in two relationships and I'm currently single, but I learned a lot from those relationships and I choose to be single currently. For your information, I, I'm waiting on the right one and I am posting on myself because that's what you're supposed to do. Don't worry about no, no woman. You don't need no woman, all right? But if I had to give advice, it would be the opposite of the man we're about to look at now. Let's get into it. I haven't actually really talked about this stuff before. I think I went over like alpha males before or whatever, but not men's empowerment besides like Andrew Tate stuff. But this guy seems a little bit different. His page name is literally called Masculine Empowerment. So there's that. So here's the one I saw. Uh, I forget who sent me Red this. Flags. Oh, I just liked look it. Whoops, my bad. I fucking, oh, flags, stop. Look. Relax. Oh my God. Okay. So I think you should need another seltzer. <sighs> He does kind of look like the Giga Chat, actually. Red flags to look for in a girl. Single mothers. Do not be a cuck. Do not raise another man's child. There is absolutely nothing in it for you as a man. You do not pass on your own DNA. They do not have your last name. You have 100% of the responsibility as a parent, but you have zero authority. For starters, red flags are typically like personality things or like tidy little things you notice. Not if they have a kid. <laughs> Like, the, the fuck? I wouldn't call that a red flag, per se. I would say that's a big thing to, like, take into consideration. But, like, weird to make that a red flag. <laughs> Kid, huge red flag. There's literally no positives. There's absolutely nothing in it for you as a man. Nothing in it for you as a man because... You cannot pass on your own DNA. You cannot, you cannot pass on your DNA. Last name. You, you have 100% of the responsibility as a parent, but you have zero authority. Authority. These points all make no sense. Obviously, you don't pass on your DNA. It's a different kid. We got that. They do not have your last name. Who cares if they don't have your last name? I don't give a shit. You have 100% of the responsibility You have 100% of the responsibility as a parent, parent true. You have zero authority. Why do you have zero authority? Because you're not his real dad? And also, why is authority, like, a plus for you? I don't get absolute authority over my kid. What the fuck? You have authority. You're, you're your stepdad. Depends how young the kid is, but you could very well fill the role of a parent as a dad if you need to. If the dad's still around, yeah, you're a stepdad. Fuck it. I'm not saying it's the best thing in the world, but it's not a red flag. <laughs> To just say fuck single mothers. Think about if you can financially support a kid if you're not ready for it, and yeah, move on. I mean, if she's a single mother and she's got a great personality and you guys mix, try to make it work. What other comments on this? Yeah, who dumped you, bro? I remember when I first got dumped. Okay, yep, who hurt you, bro? Okay, they're all in the same vein. <laughs> okay, cool. We're on the same page, cool. Some of the best dads are people who've raised another woman's child. I'm sure this guy's been hurt by women. Why would anyone take advice from him? That's also true. My parents divorced, and I had, luckily, my mom remarried, and my stepdad was great. I immediately don't like this guy. <laughs> Funny responded to this. Oh, you must be one of those guys. Damn, what a dick. Anyways, what happened to your bio dad? No, I love my bio dad too. My dad's around. Uh, let me clarify. They just, they got divorced. I love my, my mom and dad. I, I, but I also like my stepdad a lot. He's great. Gunner has two dads. No, that's not what I said. You, you've taken me out of contest now. Okay, let's go to his account. Masculine empowerment. Let's learn how to masculinely empower ourselves. His name's Connor. If a girl keeps reaching out, but never wants to meet you, she's using you for cheap attention. The number one way to know if a girl is actually interested in you is if she meets up with you and continues to meet up with you. Only talk to girls who are worth your time. Okay, I mean, generic take. I would say that it super depends. Like, if she's dodging you a lot, then sure. But like, if it's like a first time thing, don't think that she's immediately not into you. Someone just said like copy his mannerisms. If a girl is talking to you in a certain way and she's not going out to meet with you, then dump that bitch. Also, red flag, she's a single female woman. Girl keeps reaching out. But never wants I gotta, to I gotta nail the voice too. The girl keeps reaching out. She's using you for cheap attention. She's using you for cheap attention. Yeah, so I'm gonna get number better. one way to know if a girl is actually interested in one you is if she meets up with you, in you. If she meets and up with continues you. to meet up with you. Only continues talk to girls. To yeah, I'm getting better, I'm getting better, we'll get better. Green flags and girls. Oh, green flags. So what does he approve of? It's gonna be like women without kids. No kids, green flag. <laughs> the girl you're dating likes taking care of you, has got a low body count, loves and respects her father, doesn't have any tattoos on her body, doesn't have any harmful addiction. She is suitable for a long-term relationship. <laughs> it wants a Southern Belle. Loves and respects her father. Doesn't have any tattoos on her body. Doesn't have tattoos. any harmful addiction. She is suitable for a long-term relationship. Again, these aren't really green flags. I don't really know what that, like, you're, you're not using the term right. Green flags, and he said what they, what their issues, like what the issues were. He's saying like, here's the green flags is they don't have these red flags. He kind of just reworded it. Not really general male advice, too. That all seems like preference to you, but okay. A harsh reality. Yellow. Your girl isn't bulletproof. If the right guy shoots you. 
<laughs> oh, okay. He's talking about if guys hit on her. The way that that sounded in my brain immediately was your girl's not bulletproof. And then he said, if a guy shoots, <laughs> I thought he meant if a guy shoots at her, she can die. <laughs> your girl's not bulletproof. She can literally die by any bullet. Red flag if your girl's not wearing a Kevlar vest. Just shot. She might just dump you for him. Always be prepared for this to happen. Hypergamy doesn't care. I don't think She's that's exactly how it happens when people cheat. I don't think it's just a guy shoots his shot and she leaves. Hypergamy doesn't care. She's evolutionary and biologically designed to select the best option. If you fuck up or become weak, She's leaving for a better man if that option is available. She's literally, biologically, she's going to cheat on you eventually. I'm sorry. It's just genetics. It's what's going to happen. Yeah, he's been cheated on clearly. Also, like so far, here's my issue with him, right? And I get what he's doing. They're like TikToks to like get attention. It's very generic though. This could relate to somebody like that's gotten cheated on, which is what I think it's aimed towards. But like, there's no specifics. There's not really any depth here. If your girl ever makes you work for it, discusses taking a break, asks for an open relationship, she's already made up her mind. Most women check out of a relationship months before they actually end it. If you see this happening, dump her and find a better girl who actually wants to be with you. This one's not bad. This one's not terrible. I kind of agree with this one. I mean, I would say try to make it work first. <laughs> I wouldn't say dump her immediately, but I would say if you guys have had a break, it's already not looking so good for long term is typically what happens. I wouldn't say just kick her to the curb if she's asking for some space. That's a little bit different. See, there's different ways this can go, right? There's, there's different scenarios. Maybe she asks for some space. She has some stuff going on at work. You know, give her that shit. If it's if we aren't working out very well and we should take a break, it's probably not going to work long term. Personally, that's your my girl opinion. ever makes you work for it. She makes you work for it though. Asks for an open relationship. She's already made up her mind. Most women check out. Actually, no. I only the take a break part is the only part I agree with. Your girl ever makes you work for it. Discusses taking. If she a break, makes you work for it, for I assume it means work for sex. I, I assume they maybe they just want. Maybe you're not putting enough effort into the relationship. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. The bad boy is not attractive to women because he's evil, rude, or an asshole. He's attractive because he doesn't give a fuck about it. If she doesn't give a fuck about what? Because he doesn't give a fuck about it. If she because he doesn't give a fuck about it. If she about girl? Because he doesn't give a fuck about it. About her? Is that because he doesn't give a fuck about it. If she doesn't answer, I'm hearing a G. Are you guys sure? <laughs> if she doesn't answer, he leaves. If she becomes annoying, he leaves. If a better girl comes along, he leaves. He keeps girls on their toes. That's not why either. The bad boy persona thing is more so, oh, they got their shit together and they're not desperate for my attention. It's not because he doesn't give a fuck about her. It's that he's secure in himself and he knows his worth. That's that's mainly what it is. It's not that you don't give a fuck about her. You should give a fuck about her. But his attitude is kind of right in terms of like, you're not a bad person, but it's kind of wrong in terms of like, oh, you should just be free flowing. Just wait for a hotter girl to come along and then leave the one before because you don't give a fuck about her. Signs to recognize the friend zone. Just like flies that find themselves caught in a spider web. Guys who find themselves in the friend zone got there because they weren't paying attention. Here are three signs to look out for. Okay, three calling signs. Calling you a friend. Calling you a gay best friend or a brother. No immediate. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fucking shit. This is, uh, that's barely a tip, man. Come on. She called you a gay best friend and you're wondering if you're in the friend zone. You're in more than the friend zone, brother. She doesn't know your sexuality. If you suspect somehow that you're in the friend zone, walk away. Never be afraid of walking walk away. away. So wait, was signs one and two, she calls you her friend. One was she calls you her friend. Two was she calls you her gay best friend. And third was there's no sexual attraction. The worst tips I've ever heard in my life. Guys, she, she called me your gay best friend. Do you think I'm in the friend zone? I, I mean, I, I was just hanging out with this girl last week and she said, she called, she said, Gunner, you're like my gay best friend. Do you think I got a shot? I don't know. I'm going to go check out masculine empowerment and see what they have to say about it. I want someone to be like, he never misses on this one. This is where I want to see like, yo, facts, bro. I had to learn that one the hard way. An insecure girlfriend is a well-behaved one. Never allow her. Whoa, hot take in the beginning there, my guy. An insecure girlfriend is a be well-behaved one. Was the rest of this gonna be like, keep her insecure? <laughs> when a woman becomes too comfortable in a relationship, everything suffers. Her weight, her attitude, her sex drive, her cooperation. Women who are just a little insecure, meaning they understand very clearly that they can and will be replaced if a man decides to. I'm much better behaved. That's not because she's insecure. That's just like her not caring about her herself anymore. If you're gonna say she's gonna gain weight because she's you gotta keep her insecure? Because she's getting too secure? The fuck? What? Let me get that right. Hold on. If if a girl is too secure in herself and the relationship, she's going to get comfortable, start gaining weight, getting moody, and what else? That they can and will be replaced if a man decides to. 
are much better behaved. And oh my god, friends, that's the worst one yet. Never allow her to become too comfortable. When a woman becomes too comfortable in a relationship... How do you not allow her to become too comfortable? What, are you making comments about her? I could leave you any day, you know. Don't say comfortable. That sounds like a weird, a weird draw, line to draw. I don't think that's true. I think if you're very secure in a relationship, it's more just down to your personal, if, if you're on top of your shit still. But he drew the line and then said, because I've drawn this line... Meaning they understand very I will now keep my wife will... insecure as fuck. I'm much better behaved. Because she will be better behaved. Friend. What is she, a fucking child? <laughs> if being insecure makes you a good partner, then this dude is a keeper. Damn. Fuck shit. Jake in the place, 85, coming at him. Fuck. Never ask a girl directly about her body count. It's a rookie question. Never ask a bitch about her body count. It reveals your inexperience with women. Of course, she's going to lie about it, and you won't like her answer unless it's zero. Instead, watch her behavior and read between the lines. Behavior reveals character. Even if she tells you about her body count, assume it's twice the number she gave you. <laughs> Never ask a girl. <laughs> assume she's always a fucking liar. Never trust anybody. Who, who did hurt this guy? You, you can't trust anybody. She's always lying. Don't trust a single female ever. They are fucking liars. I'll tell you firsthand, I've met two before, and I've been in a relationship with two, and they're, they're both fucking liars. It's a rookie question that reveals your inexperience with women. Of course, she's going to lie. A rookie question. That, okay. About it, and you won't like her answer unless it's zero. Won't like her answer unless it's zero? That's just you, bro. That's just you talking. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with any girl I meet having having a higher body count. Or a body count. He set the standard so low. You think every single girl you meet is going to be a virgin? What the fuck? Who the fuck cares? And if you ask for a guy's body count, assume it's twice the number. No, assume it's half the number that he told you. <laughs> maybe even actually, maybe even like eighth it. Uh, for instance, my body count is 107. Five things that make girls instinctively submit to men. Because that's what we need. I need five ways to have them instantly submit to me. One, act cocky and selfish. Great. <laughs> this guy is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Did this guy teach confident Chris? Is this confident Chris's guru? Because man, he's speaking like he taught him himself. Five tips to make them instantly submit. Number one, just fucking be a dick. Just be the worst version of yourself. Works every time, I swear. Number two, look strong and dominant. Don't know what you're supposed to do for that one. Always just walk around like you're just ready to fucking fisticuffs at a moment's notice. Just kind of always look dominant like you're just ready to go. Always keep him on edge. Be tense as fuck in the relationship. Never let him think that you might just not. Just real quick. Just, you know, whenever. Number three. Number three. Call them out on their bullshit. Call them out on their bullshit. That one's fine. If people are bullshit, call them out. Sure. Four. Don't care what girls think of them. Number four. Don't care what girls think of them. You have them instantly submit. Don't care what girls think of them. I don't know what that means. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Are my pits sweating? My, are my alpha pits sweating? I think we're good. Five. Prioritize their purpose above all else. Number five, prioritize their purpose? Ooh, wow, this is this is a goal. I didn't think we were gonna get this bad takes. I thought it was just the first one. Wow. We've only gone through like the beginning, like the most recent ones, but like he's been doing this for a long time. How do you not get better? <laughs> all right, first one. We always do this. We always go for the first TikTok. Find out what they what they what the claim to fame was. Takeaways from the Tinder Swindler part one. Women operate best when they're uncomfortable and they don't know where they stand. The first interaction between the swindler and the girls was always a five-star hotel or restaurant where the women felt out of place. A lot of the time, when a girl gets too comfortable with you, the butterflies stop. She's going to slowly start losing attraction for you as well. This is important because when they do get comfortable, they get complacent. And when they get complacent, that's when the disrespect begins. Wow, he's been saying the same thing for a long time. You can't let them get complacent. You can't let them get comfortable. Keep that bitch insecure, always. So you always have to keep women on their toes. Hey, at least he's stuck to the same messaging. He has not backed off of it. That, that's how he started. All right, we haven't even gone to, I saw like he pulls out like this book of like women terminology that's like super funny actually. <laughs> funny in a way of laughing at him kind of way. Oh, here it is. When she says, you're so toxic, translation, I don't like the fact that you know unflattering things about my female nature and call me out on it and hold me accountable to those standards. I don't like this because I can't get one over on you. <laughs> this guy has a chip on his shoulder. This is a very specific thing to his relationship. If someone called you toxic, there could be a myriad of reasons why your girlfriend called you toxic. But for him, 
It's specifically. Translation. Translation. I don't like the fact that you know unfattering things about my female nature and call me out on it and hold me accountable to those standards. Like, I don't fucking know. Maybe. Was that maybe that's the case for you? But he just kind of says it like it's like fact. Like that's what that means. Now that's that's exactly what being toxic means, is that you've called them out on their unflattering parts of their female nature that they didn't want to be called out for. This book's crazy. When she says, you're a jerk or you're an asshole. Translation. I don't like the fact that you don't let me get away with my bullshit and you see right through it. Women love to pretend that bad boy characteristics like arrogance is a huge turn off. They oh buy man, I love this. <laughs> when she calls you a jerk. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Hey, Karen, are you watching? Karen, are you watching right now? I'm not a jerk, okay? What you meant to say. I don't like the fact that you don't let me get away with my bullshit and you see right through it. Like, maybe. It sounds like a little personal, though. It sounds a little personal. I'll be honest, masculine empowerment. Whip out this book in, like, a fight with your spouse. Oh, whoa! Hold on. Whoa, 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 Susan. I don't want to fight, all right? But you did just call me a jerk. I'm going to reference uh, chapter 8, subsection 8. Jerk means you're just mad that I called you out on your bullshit. Case closed. I'll see you in court. That should work. I don't want to buy this. Actually, wait a second. Is that what that link is? The free womanese ebook? Is that what that is? Is this a definition book? Because what's womanese? Translate female communication. He fucking sells it. Holy shit. <laughs> no way. Wait, is it free? The lost language of the female species. Learn womanese. Guys, I might need to get this book. <laughs> Wow, it is free? Get the book. Yeah, I think I kind of have to actually. This is literally a book to learn how to gaslight your partner. Like that's all it is. <laughs> learn how to flip whatever they say back onto them. Oh, you're, 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 you're never home with the kids. You're, you're never, you're never home. Like we never spend time together. Translation? You can't handle me having my guy time and drinking beers at the bar till 5 a.m. She can't handle it. She's too comfortable. Yeah, I guess let's fucking do it. Fuck it. All right. That's gotta be the funniest upsell I've ever seen. Create your own language called womanese and then sell a book. I might have to do another video where I buy this. We might just circle back to this for a video. I think we kind of have to. We will learn womanese on another stream, I promise.